One of the apps I use to listen to music is Deezer. Deezer is similar to Spotify. You can create your own playlists and add songs to that playlist. The main building block for a playlist are songs. Let's start with the music interface. So inside Composite I will create a music interface and we have the namespace and this is an interface. For this interface all we have is a method play. That is all, just a play method. Because we have a music interface I will create a song class. So this song class of course will implement that music interface and we have to define, we have to implement the play method. I will create a constructor that is going to be used in order to initialize the song. So for the song I will have title, artist and path. So inside the constructor we have to pass the title, the artist and the path to the file, to the, to the mp3 file. So here now we initialize the title equals to title and then artist, is it artist? Oops, okay, my bad. This artist equals to artist and this path equals to path. So now that we initialize uh, everything we need, what we can do is inside play we simply return this path. Okay, so till now very basic, a music interface that is implemented by the song class and the class has three attributes, title, artist and path, we initialize them inside the constructor and the play method simply returns the path to the song. Now the next class is playlist. Again, this playlist class implements the music interface. So we have to define the play method. Remember that a playlist is a collection of songs, those we need an array to store them. Protected songs equals to an empty array. We also need a variable to store the current, current track. So which track are we playing? By default it will be zero, so the first song always play in the playlist. Now inside a playlist obviously you can add songs. So let's say public function add song and this will take the song interface, I mean the music interface, and this is a song and this will return a boolean. So inside here now what we do is to call this songs the array and we add the song to the array and we can return true. Okay, what else can you do? You can play the playlist, right? So now that we have the songs, the array, what we can do is to say return these songs so we find the current track inside the songs array and we call the play method. So this play method here is actually this play method right here, so it will return the path to the song. And to find that song we are using the current track, which is the index. And this is why I named the interface, music interface and not song interface, because as you can see this music interface is implemented by the song class and the playlist class, so it wouldn't be very fair if we actually named the interface song interface, because this is a playlist, this is not a song, so this is why I decided for a more generic name like music interface. Anyways, we have two more functions, so the next one will be next. So this one will get the next song in the playlist. So what we do is to check if is set this songs, this current track plus one, so if there is actually an entry after the current track, then we add one to the current track 
and we return, and actually I need curly braces here, we return this play. So this will get the next song, okay? If there is a song after the current one to the playlist, then we get the next song. Otherwise, I will simply play the song that we are actually playing right now. So it cannot go forward anymore, so just play the last song in the playlist. On repeat. So the next one, the, I guess the opposite, is previous. So this one will be the opposite. So here now, we check if this current track, which is the index, is greater than zero, then yes, we can actually go back. Minus minus. And we return this play. Now, if there is no song to go back, because this one is the first one, then we cannot go back anymore. So what we do is to actually play on repeat the first song. So let's go to the index. I will create a new function for the composite design pattern. And what we can do here is to create a playlist first. So let's say rock playlist, new playlist. Okay. So inside this playlist, what I'm going to do is to actually add a couple of songs. So let's say rock playlist, add song. And the song we want to add will be a new song. And let me import this so it doesn't get very long. So this now requires the title, the artist, and the path to the song. So the title will be The Kill by 30 Seconds to Mars. And the path to the file is music slash the kill dot mp3. So I will copy this for the other two. So let's say we have three songs. So this now is give up. Is this the title of the song though? Um, let me check. Give up. Or is it like given up? Yeah, given up. I am not very good with titles. <laughs> Anyways. So Linkin Park. It is very hard for me to actually remember names and titles and numbers. I really cannot do that. Anyways, so the other one is Pretty Fly by The Offsprings. The Offspring. Okay, so the title, Pretty Fly, The Path. Okay, so now that we added these songs to the playlist, and you can add whatever song you want, of course, what we can do is to actually test if this works. So I will echo rock playlist and I will play the first song in the playlist. So this, if I call this, it should give me the first song in the playlist, which is the kill. And it is actually is the kill. Now the next one, if I echo rock playlist and I go to the next one, I should get the next song which is given up. And I actually do get this. And let's again go next. This is pretty fly. Now, if I go next again, you will notice that there is no song anymore in the playlist to go forward. So what we do is to simply play the last song. No matter how many times you call next, you cannot, there is no song anymore after this one. So this is why you always get pretty fly. And of course, you can actually go backwards. So if I say echo, let me actually just copy that and change next to previous. So we get now given up. And if I go once again, previous, we get the kill. Again, if I go back once again, there is no song anymore to go backwards. So we simply get the kill. 